Hey everyone, it's April 19th. That makes it a Friday. Thank goodness you made it. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute, and today I wanted to talk with you about social media for business. So I get asked all the time by clients is, hey, we gotta get on the social media thing. What do we need to do? How do we do this? Um, lots of questions, and they're great questions, and it definitely is something that as a business you need to be aware of because whether you're on there or not, it's happening. There's a potential that your customers are talking about you. There's definitely conversations happening between your competitors and your potential customers or your existing customers. So you want to be on not only to monitor all that stuff, but also to participate and get new customers, build more relationships, build your business, um, you name it. So there's three networks that I highly recommend from a business perspective that you be on. First one, of course, is Twitter. The second one is LinkedIn. And the third one is Google Plus, relatively new one. I don't recommend Facebook for business because Facebook is definitely much more of a personal network. Now, if you're a business that deals with consumers, Facebook is one to be on, but that's a, that's a whole nother video that I'm gonna do talking about Facebook. Today, I really wanna focus on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. Um, and this is for really more business to business type interactions. So Twitter, the first one, is a good one to be on because there's a lot of conversations going on there. There's a lot of thought leaders that are posting up links to their articles. Uh, they're having conversations and you can jump right in on those. Um, Twitter is an awesome, it's wide open, so there's way more information on them than you're ever gonna be able to read. So don't think you're gonna read Twitter. It's gonna be like reading the internet. Uh, instead, focus on a few different people in your industry that are saying stuff that you know is really interesting and you wanna share that with your clients. Show them that, hey, you know, I'm thinking about more than just selling to you, I'm also helping you with your business. So here's some good stuff for you to look at. Also, interact with those authors, interact with those thought leaders, let them know that they're doing a great job. Um, you know, let them know what you like about what they're writing. On the flip side, you can publish links to whatever you're writing. Hopefully you get some feedback on that. General rule of thumb is you wanna give more than you take. So you wanna be out there interacting with people, giving them feedback, sharing by retweeting, um, so on, and all this fun stuff. Uh, when we get to LinkedIn, LinkedIn was the original business social media network. And basically when you create a LinkedIn profile, you're creating your resume, you're putting where you've worked, where you went to school, and then you're connecting with the people that you've worked with or you've gone to school with. You're also connecting with everybody else that's out there. And the great thing is, is you can give recommendations, you can get recommendations, you can put your skill sets on there, people can confirm those skill sets, and it can really be a great networking tool. So you can see that your connections are connected to people that you wanna be in touch with, and you can ask them to make an introduction. Uh, the other thing on LinkedIn is they've got a lot of groups for every single industry that's out there, and there's active con conversations happening all the time whether people are you know, looking for a vendor or they've just got a question about something in specific, you can jump in there, show your expertise by answering these questions, um, answering them fully and completely. Don't try and do a sales pitch, just you know, give them a complete answer. And if the person is interested, they'll seek you out and contact you and maybe ask you for more help or you know, wanna hire you for their business. Also, from a business perspective, you can set up your own business page on LinkedIn. Highly recommend you do that. Your employees can all join in on that page uh, and then people can see your organization on LinkedIn. So pretty neat stuff. The final uh, one that I wanna talk about today is Google+. This is the new kid on the block. Uh, Google realized that they were really missing out on the social media stuff. They tried some different projects and then Google Plus has been the one that they put their full force behind. Um, Larry Page came uh, back into the CEO position and basically told everybody that works there they need to be on Google Plus all the time pushing it. And you know, it's got a lot of great features. The first one that I really like is the authorship. So this is where on any websites you contribute to, you just put a little snippet of code, either you put it on there or get your IT person to put it on there. And then it connects your Google Plus account to your website. And what this does is when people search for your business or you know just something that brings up your result on Google, now there's gonna be your profile picture next to that result. And the click-through rates have been proven to go up for anything that's got these pictures next to it. 
It's also gonna have how many circles you're in um, and a link to anything else that you've written. So it, it makes your search result larger on the page, has that picture on there, um, and it's just, it's really cool stuff. Now, I mentioned circles. So on Google+, Plus, they don't talk about connections, they don't talk about followers, they talk about circles. And that's how you connect with other people on Google+. Plus. You put them into different circles, there's some that are automatically created, and then you can create as many more as you want, name them whatever you want and you can create these silos of connections, or circles, uh, as the name implies, of connections. And then when you post things, you can choose those specific circles to post to. So only those people will see those posts. You can also choose public or all circles, and then everybody will see those. Um, but that's the thing that I really like about Google Plus for business is you can really silo out how you're sending out information. The other cool thing is now they've got uh, what are called communities. So these are, these are groups basically that you can create around any subject. And then you can invite people in to kind of um, have a conversation about them. And they can create posts that go into those communities. Um, and so it's a great way to really build discussion around whatever topic you wanna to be talking about. Obviously it's your business, you know, your business topics. The other aspect of Google Plus is the Google Plus business pages. So separate from your Google Plus profile, you can create a business page and people can then follow that page and you can have that page follow others. There's some limitations to it, but the important thing from your business perspective is that your Google Plus business page is now connected with your Google Maps page and what was called Google Places. Now they're kind of lumping this all together and it's called Google Plus Local Places Maps. Uh, it's confusing, trust me, but you need to be involved with this because now when people are searching for you on Google, there's a chance if it's a local result that it's gonna incorporate data from your Google Plus business page. So you need to start getting the stuff created, start getting them verified. Uh, there's a lot of kinks being worked out, but uh, you have no choice. You've got to be on this thing uh, because Google's 70% of all searches still, so they own the market. You gotta play by their rules. You gotta play their game. Uh, but like I said, Google Plus I think is really good for businesses because it allows you to create these silos or circles of interests and connections. Um, and so you can create a circle just of your customers. And now it's almost like a emailing list, except that it's just through Google Plus. So it's a little bit less intrusive but it allows for even more types of connections, real-time connections. They've got Hangouts, so you can have a live streaming with I think up to eight, might be 16 people now, where all of you are on webcams and can be interacting with each other. That can then be broadcast so anybody can be watching it, and that can be recorded and then put onto YouTube for later viewing. Google Plus, of course, ties in with YouTube, which is the third busiest website on the internet now. Uh, so you want to be all these things connected up. So those are the big ones, Twitter, LinkedIn, and um, Google+. Uh, as I mentioned, Facebook is good from a consumer side of business, but I'm going to do that in another post probably next week or something. But let me know how I did. Uh, there's the email. Comments are down below. Love to get your feedback. I'm sure I missed a lot of things, but uh, I think that that's a great start especially if you're just getting into this stuff, or maybe you have been, but you're a little bit lost on exactly how do I make these things work. Um, give me some feedback, let me know what you think. Uh, what, what, what other networks do you think are really good for business? Did I miss any? Uh, anyway, it's Friday, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.